What's going on guys? It's Tech Genie back again with another video. So you may have noticed that our videos are now coming out slightly different days and that's because the videos that went up on Wednesdays, all the vlogs, are now on our second channel, Vlog Brothers. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe over there. Um, we will be releasing those videos on that channel and also any other kind of videos like the short films as well. Also on that channel we have two videos currently in the making which will soon be up on there. Um, so if you're interested in that sort of stuff, do go over and have a look, please support us and subscribe. Also if you're new to this channel, thanks a lot for dropping by and also don't forget to press that subscribe button. So today we're bringing you a video on how to get iOS onto your Android phone. Let's get into it. Okay, so some of you may remember we've already done a video on this on our channel, however this one is with a bit of a twist. So today what we're going to try and do is tell you how to do it, but you must be rooted to do this version. If you want to see how to do it if you're not rooted, do go onto our channel, I'll leave a link in the description of another video on how to do it. But this is basically what the lock screen looks like. You've got the nice time in the Apple font there, um, and also you've got the little camera icon here in the bottom left. So if I just unlock this, you can see uh, we've also got these nice little buttons to put our passcode in. So I'm just going to do that now. So then guys, this is the uh, home screen of the ROM we are running. Now we are running uh, MIUI ROM. This is version 5 because I have the Samsung Galaxy S2. Now I'm not going to tell you how to install it in this video. I already have a video up and the link for that will be in the description. But basically just download the files, go into recovery mode and flash those onto your phone. You must be rooted to do this however. Okay, so you notice once you've installed it you will have a different version uh, and different look to what this looks like now. So what you need to do is you need to come over here into themes and then all you do is search for iOS, iOS 9 um, in the little search bar here. Some are free and some you have to pay for with some weird credit system. So you can see these are free um, and then sometimes you have to pay for credits like three me credits. Um, I'm not sure how you get those but I've just gone for the free version. I think you just have to buy some of them. The free versions seem to work all right and obviously there are different ones you can install so I've got one here and this is what the sort of aim of it's supposed to look like. Okay so you can see it's now loading the launcher and it's now bringing up the new launcher. Um, on this one you have a slightly different um, look. This one probably looks a bit nicer and a bit more iOS like. Okay, and obviously on here you can see we've got all the nice icons looking very iOS like. The only thing is however because this is a Chinese ROM you do have slight Chinese writing and if you pull down the notification bar here you can see you've got the nice blurred uh, background looking through to the home screen behind. Obviously we've got all of the toggles so it is very different to what the iOS looks like but it does actually have the nice blurred UI as well. Um, there are apps you can get but I wanted to do this as a rooted version so the only thing you need to do is download a ROM to do this you don't have a load of apps installed on your phone and slowing it down so that's basically what the actual home screen looks like so if I go into the dialer here you can see that it actually looks very similar as well okay, so you can see I've got the nice circular buttons here the same as the iOS very similar colours it's not exactly identical but I will say there are loads of different themes you can install Okay guys, so if you want to get a uh, control center that looks like this, where you can adjust the brightness um, and you can do different things as well, you'll need to go into the Play Store here and you'll need to download Control Panel. Some uh, of the themes do have it installed on them and some of them don't, so you may find it useful to install this. Um, so again, the app for the lock screen is called OS8 Lock Screen. I will leave the names to all these in the description. But that's basically it guys, um, all you need to do again is make sure you've installed the um, MIUI ROM, I don't know how you say it, make sure you've installed that ROM, a video for that will be in the description, it's basically the same as installing any other ROM, all you need to do is reboot into recovery and then once you've um, flashed all the stuff, boot into this and log yourself in, set it all up and then just install a launcher theme. Uh, in terms of getting the lock screen, certain ones do have a... Um, do you have a lock screen built in? At the moment, I have just downloaded a different locker called OS8 lock screen. I'll leave the link for that in the description as well. Um, and it's just off the Play Store and it works perfectly fine. So that's the lock screen I had at the beginning. So if you want everything to be the same, all you need to do is just 
do what I've said in this video. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video guys. It's just been a really quick update on how to get iOS on your Android device. This one is a rooted version. If you want to see me uh, flashing this ROM onto this phone again, do let me know because the video I have done is quite old and I may update it and do another video. But until then guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Videos like this will be coming out at the same time every single week, so do stick around on this channel if you enjoyed this video for any other videos like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe and also share this video. It helps us out a lot. Uh, and yeah, see you next video. Live long and prosper.